When people say NFM, they tend to mean the rural side of things. And when people say sustainable drainage systems, they tend to mean urban. But actually, they're, they're kind of essentially synonymous with each other. It's not just about woodlands and fields. Urban areas can contribute a lot because the urban areas are where people have made the biggest difference to date by paving over and tarmacking and putting houses and patios over what would have been a natural environment. Basically, sustainable urban drainage solutions is any idea that just slows the movement of water either into the ground, across the ground, but inevitably stopping it getting to the rivers as quick as it can do. You'll see on the container behind us, we've put uh, what we call a, a green roof, uh, and it's a way of holding water back, keeping it out of rivers for as long as possible. Uh, certainly around here, stopping flash floods that do tend to happen very quickly. So here we've got the water coming from the roof of Hebden Bridge Town Hall here. What the Calder Rivers Trust and Slow the Flow have done is build these rain garden planters. So now when the roof water comes off, it comes into this large storage area with beautiful plants in it. So it filters gradually through the, through the planter before it ends up in the river. Opportunity mapping is something that both Stuart and I have had on our minds for a little while, which is about putting together a, a, an online map that's a resource for people so they can click on where they live or work or have an influence and see how we think that that site could help with either natural flood management or sustainable drainage systems. So on this street we can see that there's a lot of tarmac and a lot of you know, hard paving and so how about if you replace some of that with some trees or some rain gardens, etc. Um, and just to kind of give people food for thought about how actually next time they're doing a project they might be able to change their environment to mimic natural systems better and slow the flow of rainwater. We also get additional green infrastructure benefits like biodiversity in our urban areas and mental and physical health and aesthetic value all those additional things as well as this um, slowing the flow of rainwater to the rivers.